here. Are we going to see Block make the comeback set, or is he going to see the clean? The, the more that I think about this, I actually do think this specific Grand Finals has not happened since Orbitar 1. So that that's pretty cool. They yeah. really play a lot, but it's, yeah, it's usually like yeah. semis or quarters. Or Shout out to these guys for, for making the run and repeating history here, potentially. That drag down. Uh, that that also, drags. like, I'm pretty sure that set they played in Orbitar 1 Grand Finals was like a game 9 or game 10 thing. So. We might get there again. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We'll see. These are two very adaptive players, two players that are very familiar with each other's play styles. And two players that are comfortable enough with each other to not get like super tilted and let them snowball out of their control. Doesn't oh, okay, yeah, you get, uh, he didn't want that. You hear him saying like, ah. <laughs> Definitely not. Stuck in dash deck. <laughs> Miss bouncing vision is very good. Uh, Shinka gonna work his way back into this. He's got a little bit of a deficit to make up. Okay. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, we just saw that happen with Pokepen. And that's set probably there. across the DI kind of. Yeah. Locke is uh, really cognizant of when he's able to throw out that back air and convert it into something really powerful like that KO. Nice, but Mega Man's very fat. It's because he's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, metal and stuff. This, like... Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Now, past 150, this is the point where like he's probably going to want a needle camp. I don't know. Or I don't, I'm, he doesn't seem to needle camp a lot, actually, when I think about it. Yeah, no, he, uh, that's one thing that I remember him saying he was trying to actually incorporate into his play more. At one point was needles, because he just was, like, full throttle in your face all the time. And needles are really good. <laughs> so yes, needles pass, like, 150, or it's are broken. Steps up. Oh, yeah, because it keeps popping you up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as long as you space them right, they're... I don't know, especially as a new sheet player, since I don't know, like, really good mix-ups past 150. You don't think it's All right, you, you have a uh, unique perspective on the sheet uh, matchup now, because... Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 the foot's still... Are we, okay, no. Didn't get the lock, I but think it's partly because she was small. I'd be, I'd be curious to know. Because it looked like the polish just went right over. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it, it had to have been a timing thing, because I'm sure, like, Kaname got that on void or something. Oh, yeah. Like, when he was making all of his waves. But I feel like it'd still be probably harder. I, I, yeah, I, I would I don't. Right. I don't know. Telewalk's kind of weird. The players would know, yes. I'm sure. <laughs> all right, Locke has a percent lead here, which is good for Mega Man, bad for Sheik, but he was stuck at the edge, and now Shinko's got momentum. I wish I could hear Bramble Blast playing. Good song. And they always... We don't really ever have... Game volume here, do we? I mean, we do. Tell. It's just it's some um, weird interaction between things that Scott apparently understands, but hasn't had time to fix yet. So All right. We're <laughs> Maybe eventually. It, yeah, it's on the radar, and we should get it back sometime soon. But today is not that day. All right, this chase is pretty intense here. Down air landing once again. You're gonna put in some work from Lock. Maybe we recovered high. So. Yep, pick it up. <laughs> Might as well. And then, like, approaching needles at this percent is really good, too. Ooh, I like that angle. <laughs> that was pretty. Something. <laughs> oh, wow. He wanted something close. He, he definitely wanted something there, and he. I don't think he laughed. <laughs> I think many people lab stuff. Got, this, yeah, but. like there are people who lab those situational things, but it's hard to do those intuitively. I think definitely. I don't think. Okay, he, he definitely like did not want the rapid jab. Probably just uh, last stock situation. He's both are gonna die from anything. Maybe not everything. Tension skyrockets in the room. 
can do. What's oh, the okay, lock probably. Mm -hmm. The one, the last one is just Chinko. The last uh, set they played or the last one? Um, this is game one. Yeah, game one. Bad. <laughs> nice. Alright, Shinko gets it. I looked away because we had a question in chat. But he, oh, was, he was on nice. he was on the ledge and it's a pretty typical <laughs> Yeah. It's not the most skilled thing, if, but it if works. If I played Sheik, <laughs> I would use uh, the heck out of Vanish. Like that'd be my I would probably use it way too much. It's t it's not bad to though use it too much in the beginning of playing Sheik, but like obviously top level play. Not as much. Okay, let's see. We've got an announcement that I will share about equipment that was left behind. Apparently, um, Fire the Pyro left a Nexalux GameCube adapter here with a setup. Was it that? Three, two, one, go! Okay, uh, right. so All right, guys, uh, they have found the item in question, and they're going to hold it at eSports, and anyone can pick it up at uh, Smashwork tomorrow. So we're on Omega Great Cave Offensive, which has weird uh, properties because it's half grass and half whatever that blue slime rock <laughs> thing is. Not too weird, but... Yeah, no, it, it, I, I actually don't notice it unless I'm looking for it. Pretty subtle. I think it's that you just... Slightly slow or slip more on the grass. I, I don't even remember. To be honest, I don't play. It's a, I like this the background of this Omega, but like it, it looks cool. Yeah, a lot of the graphical things they do with the stage is really nice. Looking. Nice right there. That's Speaking the of nice things, Shinko covering those options. <sighs> nice. Down down stuff. Oh, Maybe he. Drake down, down yep, stuff. that almost worked too. Oh yeah, Sheik drag down stuff is so hype for me to see. I love that. Nice. Calls the roll on. Good stuff. But, I mean, this is where you see the kill power discrepancies come into play. Sheik was at like 100, Mega Man has almost max rage, and he just takes one back air. After all of that pressure Shinko put on. Are you saying we should nerf everyone else? Who's <laughs> better? Okay. Uh, it's it's a thing with uh, with Shinko and Locke. They like Omega stages. It's it's their thing. I think it's like. I don't know. I would be curious to know like if they have any particular reason if they just don't care much for plot. I don't know. I I think part of it is music, honestly, because they have very specific music kind of sure. But also, I don't think the setup has any volume, so it's probably not music right now. I don't know. I don't think anyone turned it on. Yeah. And I can't see Mega Man like really disliking FD either as a stage. Yeah, yeah, Sheik's probably fine too. FD's good. Alright, Lock managing to work his way back nice. on stage, but Shinko is uh d oh good call out. There you go. That's that's gotta just be like constantly cycling through Locke's head. Is like when is an opportunity for me to read a ball <laughs> with, with the Shoryu. Needles. Can't oh wow, it. that chase down. That sends a message. Let's see. But so does this whip punish potentially. Uh, doesn't quite. All right. Oh nice. oh, and nice, we nice. saw nice. Shinko use that to great effect in their last set. Coming in clutch again here, too. Shinko, 2-1. Or er, 2-0, excuse me. So this is uh, this is tournament point here. Point. Match if, point if it keeps show. going at this uh, rate, we are not uh -oh. going to see the Game 9 replica of Orbitar 1 Grand Finals. Wait, is that Locke Ryu? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I've literally never seen Locke play Ryu, even in front of these. I was. I would expect Sonic to be honest. Yeah. I mean, that's actually like done some bracket work at this point. He's probably beaten PR with it by now, at least. I don't. I don't know the 
statistics like you should. I don't know. Uh, I, I, would, like I have sheet. the statistics uh, <laughs> accessible. <Yeah. laughs> I do not have them all memorized. The I would I would be concerned level, like, for myself. If I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the uh, the surround stats. Oh no, we we are seeing the Sonic. Okay, so here we go. And we're on Dreamland, which is a stage infamous for giving Sonic some pretty easy spring ride combos. Is she gonna fall victim? Weirdly enough, Sonic is starting to be like adapt to chart bots more. Yeah, I I don't think it's actually like bad. No, uh, there Sonic. was just a point where Sonics were like, oh, we don't want to try fuss. Yeah. I don't know. Seems to be doing better on them now. Yeah. Uh, I remember 6WX like, actually liked them. They were his favorite things. Uh, but obviously, it doesn't work with all playstyles. Yo, Ban battlefield against me game one, and then he went there. <laughs> <two>, so <laughs> just kind of The mind games. Yes. That's a, that's a big D thing. Like, ban the thing <laughs> that you want to counterfeit to so they don't ban it. Yeah. Anyway. Hi, Scott. Pretty even stuff right now. Uh, one thing that we are already seeing that Locke couldn't really do as well with Mega Man is uh, Spring being such a versatile, fast option for getting out of pressure. I mean, Mega Man kind of has like a similar effect with Rush, but it's not as good. Yeah. Like Sonic's, Sonic's is good, and it's it's got uh, invincibility on the way up for part of it at least. Maybe. Oh yep. wow. Clean Spring. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well taunt <laughs> Yeah. Uh, shout outs to True Main. Couldn't be this tonight, I guess. Yeah. That World was kind of Yope. You are totally right. Hi, Yope. Downright nutty. This Sonic is nutty. That, uh, unironically, yes, that is actually a really accurate description. <laughs> Whenever, whenever a top player picks up like a interesting secondary, create a secondary, it's always fun to see how they play them. Yeah, I and Locke always like his play style shines through no matter which character he's playing, and not always in the same way. But like somebody called Locke Sonic more Locke than his Mega Man, which I can kind of understand, even if it makes like no sense. I, it's kind of like. Mega Man always has to. Mega Man usually has to do something, but Sonic doesn't have to really do anything ever. That's very true. So like the waiting and the walking is super prominent because, yeah. All right, Locke trying to fight his way off the ledge here. Shinko's just gonna wait it out. Try to suck him back into that sheet cortex. Okay, uh, oh, oh. Locke is trying for it. He's trying. Uh, would it kill? I yep. uh, probably. <laughs> I mean, like on the top platform, yeah. Ooh, drag down. Not gonna get anything from the lock in the shield in time. Reads the row with the four so can get some uh, from it. Yeah. Only attack barely lasting long enough to uh clip Shinka there. And we've got we've really got an even game here. Sheik obviously struggles to kill, but Sonic kind of can too if you miss the um, the few opportunities that True. Especially like in a campy matchup like this, neither yeah. really has a cheap kill advantage. I like that effect. Right there. Good call out with the back air. This is okay. Now I I was actually super afraid that Locke was just gonna homie attack off the stage. I've seen that. That enough. would be a tragic end to the set. <laughs> and you know what? Shout out to Shinko because he's not SD at all the set. He, he got them all out of his system in winners, and he is ready to take this manually. He could Coming do it out right here, but nice that's not going to be the case. Locke gets on the board with his, he, uh, his Sonic. Actually. Yeah, wow. Not to be slept on. But will Shinko make the adaptions? I mean, he does play a lot. The Sonic's pretty well from what I understand. Yeah, so. he does. He probably feels confident. You know? Going into this game thinking, okay, I got tripped up by the switch in play style. But you're not going to get me twice. We'll see. We'll see. Omega Pilot I mean wins. The only option. He has two more s games on this set to work on. And then. Wow. Okay. So, w you know what? Locks changes it up again. Shinko oh, yeah. is giving him a, uh, a sideways glare. Ultimate mix ups. 
which is a totally understandable reaction when your opponent chooses back. Three, two, one. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> here we go. Not the real pilot wings, luckily. Ah, he's spiritually pilot wings. Wait. I've never actually looked at the background of the stage, but there's like a castle and everything back there. Huh. I feel like this is like a moderately good matchup for Sheik. I, I, the Sheik is better than the Cloud, so that's interesting to see. Yeah. I, Sheik has crazier ways to end stocks quickly than Cloud does. In, in the, the game potential. Really. So if, if Cloud Sheik is also a really good combo way for you. Ah. There you go. Uh, but of course, Cloud is Cloud, and one of the very best characters in the game. And <laughs> can make lots happen from just a few small mistakes. So, Shinko's gonna have to be real on point if he wants to get this win. Even against a Cloud secondary like Locke's. There was a period of time when Cloud came out where Locke actually did put a lot of time in this. And. Ah, oh, that's a Cloud thing. <laughs> Every time someone walks into crust <laughs> or falls into it. Nimai is just uh has just accused you of killing puppies a lot. Sorry. The ball's in your court. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good trump. Yeah, I feel like oh wait no, he's got his jump. He's got I didn't think he had it. Alright, tricky little tech movement option and trip and lock up there, keeping him from getting anything else. Nice. But he's gotta seal the stock. I feel like something that Shinko doesn't do that other Sheiks do is like do a little reverse fair and then kind of wait for the air dodge. Not, I don't know. He needs to do that. But oh, okay, good confirm. Air to bouncing fish. Boy, you know what? I think has fish in it. Mario Odyssey, which I get to play shortly. Hey, my mind is on one thing. But all your minds should be on this match. Cause it's getting pretty spicy. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. A little too early to start there, and there's already. Now he gets it. Catches him with a present up there. But I mean, Pops look, look at this. Just with, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, Shinko is totally even this up and actually taking the lead. Tries to. Lock has to burn limit to get back on stage. That's good. And ooh. Such a strong move, Cloud back air. Also such a safe move, Cloud back air. Nice. Catches him with the detail smart. Fish might have worked there. Tries to go for another trump, but locks him to get a back air in his own out first. Oh, he's he's fiending hard. They have to get back in the stage. <laughs> that was the they are so in each other's heads, they are doing exactly the same thing. Okay, so no, big difference here is that random moves of clouds will kill, and the same cannot be said for Sheik. Nice. But the fair off stage is going to seal it. Frame advantage. Yep. I don't know what up comes out on. Okay. But fair is like blindingly it's, fast. It's so, five, I think. Yeah. Congratulations to Shinko winning. Uh, is that your first Orbitar? No, it's not. Did you win the first one?